if you've been following my channel, it's been a long time coming and I cannot believe that I finally got it after all these years. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making savvy and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I finally pulled the trigger after all these years. This item has been on my wish list forever and the price has increased so many times. I just beat the price increase that happened on July 2nd worldwide, I believe. The whole process, everything about shopping at Dior is completely a match among all the luxury houses. I'm gonna unbox this right away and then we'll talk about the whole experience. I love all the little details about the packaging, the little charms the little details, all the pleated tissues, the way they package it is unbelievable. Here's my proof of purchase. Even inside the shopping bag, there's a bee here. Just the attention to detail. These little charms here, if you collect enough of them, you can decorate a whole Christmas tree with them. What it looks like inside, I think you can see a little peek. Every Lady Dior has the dust bag with the swan. With Dior, the authenticity card doesn't have the serial number of the bag. It just basically proves where you purchased it. So uh, it's a little different from Chanel. And here there's another little booklet. This color is called gray opaline. It has a shimmer to it. I seem to remember it being a little lighter before. I don't know if it has changed or if it's just me, I'm not sure, but I'm really loving it. I'm sure you guys have already seen billions of unboxings of the Lady Dior, but I still wanted to show you the details of mine just because everyone does their unboxings a little different. Here's the beautiful, beautiful clasp. It says CD on it. I love that everything is oval shaped, including the part here, the little clasp. The charm on the O is also an oval shape. All these areas here, the grommets, and then even the D-rings here. Well, they're not really D-rings, they're the like ovo rings. The interior is a tone-on-tone -tone canache print fabric. And uh, the bag also says Christian Dior made in Italy. Inside the zip pocket, there is a little leather tab that has your actual serial code. It doesn't feel as delicate as I would imagine it to be, which I'm actually really glad. I seem to remember this to be a little bit different from the first ones that I saw over the years. I'm not sure if it's me imagining things or maybe they just changed it over time. And even the color looks a little darker on this one. I love the little flat feet on the bottom. I did notice that on the larger size bags, the feet were pointy, whereas this one, the feet are flat, which is really cute. I kind of like it a little stubby. Underneath this little charm, it also says Christian Dior. I'm so glad that my essay was kind enough to let me know that there was going to be an imminent increase. Hi, Kenneth, if you're watching, thank you so much. Mwah. I finally purchased it when it was 4,500, right before another increase. And and in fact, right now it is 5,300 Canadian plus taxes, which is an insane increase, even though the small size does accommodate a lot more and it is really pretty and it's probably a more universal size and it still fits my body frame. I did love it a lot, but personally speaking, I feel like the Lady Dior is probably going to be an occasional bag for me. It's probably going to be an evening bag for me. Maybe a bag that I can wear to brunch or even to shopping because I can downsize, but it's still not going to be an everyday bag. And I will have to be careful with it because it is lambskin. And therefore, I just went with the size mini, which is really the size that I wanted all along, even though I know that fitting a phone in it will be a bit of a struggle. But a little practice and also knowing that it's not my everyday bag, that's fine. Of course, one of the main reasons why I like the mini more is because of this beautiful chain. It just is exquisite. I love it more than the fixed strap. That is not to say that I will never get the size up, but just for now, as my very first one, I really, really wanted the mini. I know that the iridescent pink is also really pretty, but I just personally really, really like the color gray. And even though I do wear some pink, I'm not really a pink girl bag person. There's so much history and little details on this bag that if you don't know about them, you can't really appreciate them, such as all the oval detail. Uh, oval is a shape that Christian Dior himself, the designer, is really into. These quilts also are inspired by the same quilts that was on the chairs from before. Uh, my essay explained it a lot better, so I'm gonna 
be inserting clips of him talking uh, but even the shape of the chair was oval so like he pretty much incorporated a lot of these details in this bag even the sound of the charms Xiang Jiao himself is a man who is very superstitious and he loves to carry charms in his pockets apparently he would always carry like a heart shape a star shape clover leaf all kinds of different charms in his pocket in his um jacket pocket i think and they would make noise like this this bag was originally called chouchou in french which is an endearing way of calling your darling someone that you love someone that it's your favorite but of course ever since lady diana started carrying it and also became the influencer for this bag they have officially changed the name to lady dior that's all i remember off the top of my head for now but i'll insert clips of my essay telling me all the history and the details about this bag and also just the way that he wrapped it it was wonderful of course it's brand new right now so i can't really give you a review i could possibly do a what's in my bag later on that's gonna be for another video but usually i like to give very thorough reviews so i want to get to know my bag a little bit better i'm definitely new to dior this is my birthday present i guess since my birthday is depending on when i post this video is probably my birthday already so perfect birthday gift and also the fact that I beat the increase and just the fact that I've been wanting this bag for so long. I know the resale value on this is not great but I thought about it long and hard. I'm not gonna resell this bag because I always wanted a Lady Dior and if I'm gonna get at least one this is the size and this is the color that I want it to go for so if anything this is kind of like a passion purchase and I know that I won't get a lot of wear out of this since it won't be my everyday bag but like I said I feel like this would be a great evening bag a good bag for brunch for downsizing and who knows maybe I'll love it so much that I'll get the size up or I'll get into a lot of Dior this is one of the few bags that's still assembled traditionally in a wooden mold the first step they will measure the leather to mm -hmm. see if it's the right thickness because mm -hmm. for it to be in order to be a genuine leather it needs to be a certain thickness um, so they measure the leather and then they pattern the leather mm -hmm. and then after they pattern it then they sew the interior and then after they sew that then they basically put it into this wooden mold and then they basically wrap the leather around the mold and then they glue it and then once they um, they've pretty much secured all the sides then they will start assembling it and then that's when they'll start taking out the wooden mold it's like a puzzle the wooden mold they'll, they, they'll take out the, the middle first and then they'll take out the sides and then you'll, your bag is formed and then they'll sew it in and then that's when they'll attach the hardwares and all that stuff and then the finishes lambskin is actually referred to as diamonds of skins because it's, it has that you know um just opulent look to it to actually achieve this look for a calf skin the box calf skin is actually iron calf skin oh, okay. so they basically they they treat it and then they basically iron it so it's flat and shiny and lambskin you get it as it is okay. and that's what's beautiful about it those of you who have this size let me know down below how you're enjoying yours how you're combating the limited space and also getting in and out of this flap I heard that it can be cumbersome but um, I hope that I get used to it either way it's mine now and it's not going anywhere and uh, whether you guys think that I should get a twilly even though I normally don't really have a problem with lotions I usually have dry hands so I don't think that I will need one but who knows let me know down below all your comments what you think about this bag and of course I feel like I have to take out some stickers because this one is coming off although these ones are intact let me know if you guys took out your stickers on yours my essay doesn't think that it's a problem uh, but I did hear that for certain bags such as Hermes bags that it is a lot better to remove them any feedback you guys want to share if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you back and i'll talk to you again very soon bye